Good morning. We will continue the problems on RMS and average values. In the last lecture, we have seen the problem on a sort with waveform. Now, in this lecture, we will see a pulse wave as you can see in the picture. For this pulse wave, we will determine the RMS value and also the average value. It can be seen clearly that the wave is repeating for every 0.3 seconds which means t is equal to 0.3 seconds and in this one you can divide it into two parts this is one part where the value is 20 volts up to 0 0.1 and from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 its value is 0 volts so now when i write the mathematical expression for this one see can be observed that the waveform repeats for every 0.3 seconds and it consists of two different packets one from 0 to 0 0.1 its value is 20 and from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 it is constant at 0 so this is what i have written here two patterns 20 from 0 to 2 0 to 0 0.1 and 0 from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 Having said this, now we will determine the average value of the waveform. Average value of the waveform, this is the formula. If you want, I will write it again. V is equal to 1 by t. This is average value. Integral 0 to t, V of t, dt. This t stands for the time period. In this case, the time period is 0 0.3. And... See, 0 to t indicates the signal. I can consider from 0 to 0 0.3 or I can consider from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6. What is the next cycle? But in this case, I will consider 0 to 0 0.3, which again can be divided into two parts because from 0 to 0 0.1, it is one pattern. 0 0.1 to 0 0.3, it is another pattern. So that's why I am just dividing this time interval into two zones. 0 to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. Here its value, this equation will be 20, a constant value. Here it will be 0. So, see, so from 0 to 0 0.1, its value is just 20. It is a straight line. From 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.3, it is 0. Okay. So now, when I integrate this one, 20 i'll get 20 t and t must vary from 0 to 0 0.1 and for 0 i'll get a 0 so i'm just leaving it because i don't get any integral for 0 so now for this 20 t if i substitute first of all 0.1 i'll get 20 into 0.1 it is 2 and 20 into 0 it is 0 right so this is 2 by 0.3 its value is 6.66 volts now if I move on to RMS value, RMS is equal to square root of 1 by t integral 0 to t v of t whole square dt. So similarly, the time period is 0 0.3 and I am employing from 0 to 0 0.3 c. And again, I am dividing this one into two parts, 0 to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. And here v of t is 20 here again and here it is 0. So when I write it here 20 square I should write. So 20 square is 400. See it is 20 square. So I am writing it as 400 here and this is 0 itself. So this can be eliminated because 0 I won't get any integral. But here this is 400 t where t is varying from 0 to 0 0.4. Now if I substitute the values. 400 into 0.1 is 40, 400 into 0 is 0, and this is the last 0. If I solve this one, 40 by 0.3, it is 11.547. Now, if you carefully see, VRMS is 11.547 volts, and V average is 6.66. Most of the times, you will get an RMS value higher than the average value. Try to remember this one, okay? So, I hope that now, you are able to determine the average and RMS values of the sinusoidal waveforms. We have also seen for sawtooth and pulse waveforms. In the next class, we will see 
uh, some more waveforms, some more AC signals, and we will try to uh, practice more problems in the class. So come prepared for the class tomorrow and take it as a homework. This is a sort of waveform. See the periodicity. This is the periodicity, and it is taking a straight line from zero to two. And at two, you can ignore it because it is zero. Okay. Similarly. We will solve more problems in the class. Don't forget to come prepare for the class. Okay. Thank you.